ओके गाइस हियर वी हैव सार्ट सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू अडा ट्रांसपोंडर सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड व्हेन यू आर इन डिस्ट्रेस एंड यू नीड टू अट्रैक्ट अटेंशन ऑफ अदर शिप्स नियर बाय सो इट्स रेंज इज अराउंड 12 नॉटिकल माइल्स सो व्हेन यू एक्टिवेट दिस रडार आई विल शो यू हाउ टू एक्टिवेट सो यू हैव टू टर्न दिस स्विच टू ऑन पोजीशन नाउ इट इज ऑन एंड यू हैव टू रेज द एंटीना to the height of about at least 1 meter then other ships will get your signal on the x band radar and they will get a 12 concentric circles on his x band radar now you can switch off so other ships can track you and then they will get to know that you are in distress and they will come to assist you so all these are life saving appliances okay guys this is the banwas reset button both port and starboard we have and one touch screen unit some ships you will find the banwas sensor so no need to press the button and you will only walk around and it will get activated okay. but the ships we have normal type so every time you have to tell every 12 minutes you have to come and press this switch button to deactivate this alarm okay guys here we have fire panel so on board it is connected with the all the locations if any places we have a fire on board the alarm will get here and you will get the indication also which zone fire it is so from here you can reset the fire alarm and then you can go and check manually okay here we have uh, ig panel only uh, alarms indications and temperature you can monitor here if the ig pressure is going low low then you will get alarm here next is uh, these all these are refer alarms hospital alarms water fog repeater panel alarm okay gas alarm for air condition gas reduction alarm fixed gas system alarm and this is your eco here we have eco sounder this is for your uh, for the checking of your depth under clear clearance so now it is off when you are in the shallow water you must keep it on and the, keep the printer on always so it will show you the depth below the keel keel means the bottom of the ship so from here you can check the keel from keel to bottom how much depth is there so maximum range is 500 meter now the depth is more than 2000 meter so it is not showing anything oh my god when the 2000. depth is less than 500 meter then only you will get come to know how much depth inside the bottom 2000 meter yeah is more than too, 2000 meter too I think. much too much you can see over here is 2579 This is three thousand meter contour, so the depth is over here is three thousand meter. Okay, so now we can put it off. Now here we have course recorder. Now it is not a mandatory course recorder because we have IGDIS and it is recording, keep recording of the course every seconds in the IGDIS for last three three months. So this is not mandatory requirement now. but still we have the course recorder so every noon you have to check the paper is okay and uh, then you have to adjust if it is course is not aligned and uh, here you will get the course continuously printing on the chart what course you are following it is continuously printing on the chart so guys we'll move ahead to okay let's GMDSS. come to the gmdss console Okay, guys. Here we have uh, set C, two set C, set C one and set C two. This set C is connected with the LRIT long range identification tracking. So, the position you are getting on phone when you are at home, uh, like if you want to track any ships where the ship is, then this is the system. From here, we are sending position to the software. Your what you are having in the 
मोबाइल लाइक मरीन ट्रैफिक या सो सो एआईएस इज आई थॉट द एआईएस इज द वन नो एआईएस इज फॉर द स्मॉल रेंज इज ओनली द वर्किंग ऑन द वीएचएफ रेंज फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके सो एआईएस इज नॉट सेंडिंग द पोजीशन एआईएस इज ओनली सेंडिंग पोजीशन टू नियर बाय शिप्स मे बी 200 नॉटिकल माइल बस लॉन्ग रेंज एंटीफेज सिस्टम दिस एलआईटी इज सेंडिंग एवरीथिंग पोजीशन लोकेशन एंड सैटेलाइट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम हियर इट इज गोइंग टू योर सिस्टम here we have ss as system ship security alert system in this so it is connected is ss as system is connected so in case you have a piracy attack on board then you can send a distress alert through the ss as system also this is very helpful to getting the navigational warnings so the all the countries they have their own system and they are sending the navigational warning through sat c so sat c1 sat c2 both you can use for the navigational warning here we have mfhf and uh, mfhf rt frequency also you, the in case you are in distress you can send a distress through over here sat c1 and sat c2 you can send distress and it will go directly to the nearest mrcc frequency you can set like many frequencies are there 2000 megahertz 4000 megahertz 6000 8000 12000 16000 so accordingly the range and the area you are in area 1 area 2 area 3 4 areas the world is divided in four areas if you are area 1 2 3 accordingly you have to set the frequency and send the distress so it will go to the nearest rcc and they will come to assist uh, they will come to help you in case you are in distress mfhf is also having same functions also mfhf is like vhf only vhf range is less and the mfhf uh, you can send uh, distress to more than 2000 miles you can call from here long range long range only and uh, you can send distress also from here here the distress switch press and hold for 4 to 5 seconds then distress will go undesignated distress will go if you want sure about the distress what kind of distress you have on board like fire like you are uh, ship is sinking abandoning the ship then you can go inside and you can select the kya yeah. you can select the nature of distress <laughs> yeah nature of distress huh? and then you can send the distress alert like you are in fire you are in trouble then you can select manually and if you send directly through here with the button press it will go undesignated distress alert that your distress is not sure but your position and everything will go to the other ship and other stations okay these two three pcs are there for here the, uh, we have a communication pc this is a master pc here we have a, a bridge pc for the bridge normal routine works and uh, here we have works. chartco pc This is a Chartco PC. This uh, all the chart updates and the navig area warnings, meteorological warnings, and other updates are we are getting through here. So this is uh, Chartco. We are getting every week updates from here, and we are updating our IGDES and other systems. Okay, we have some printers over here, and all these printers are connected with your SATC. Also, we have some refreshment items over here. Uh, Fridges here, so and we have there. coffee and all. Coffee. And you are in <laughs> biscuits and all. You can see. And this is the tool. Tool box. This tool box. Biscuits we have here. We have oven, water, Bis kettle, and one water fountain also. So here's our captain enjoying with tea. Hello guys. Okay guys, this is a chart table. Now it is very rarely used because we have electronic chart navigation system over there. So people hardly using the chart table. Here we have a chronometer. This is also not no more required because we have two DGPS system. So chronometer is uh, earlier days it is using to synchronize the time. Nowadays it is not so much required because you have two sets of dgps here you can see that the master clock and in the normal shift time and the gmt time you can synchronize our shift time in case of advancing or retarding the time because you are going to different countries so that time you have to advance the clock sometime you have to retard the clock then you can use this key to advance and retard the shift's local mean time here we have a doppler lock a panel so this is a speed through water the speed over there we are getting is gps speed 
and this is a speed actual speed through the water what we are doing you can see over here and the distance counter also is here this is a, another set of uh, G, the gps two sets of gps required one is over there and one we have the chart table the gps differential gps position system this is the navtex the local nav warnings we are receiving through navtex only and the coastal warnings and other uh, local warnings you will get over here only and the other warnings you will get to the set c i will show you later on there we have set c here we have two set of set c this is a company provided tablet not my the tripod this is a printer this is our printer not, not in use not in use these are gm this is walkie talkie uh, this is also a very important equipment this is uh, three sets of gm dss walkie talkie for the survival craft or in case of emergency you can use this radio for communicating with other ships so in case of abandoning ship uh, one person having a duty to take this radio to the live boat and we can use this radio in case of emergency here we have a cctv camera this is for engine room uh, two locations are there you can see over there this is oily water separator so this is another requirement before starting stopping oily water separator this is all continuously recording here this side we have some manuals and training file maintenance manual okay guys here we have this here we have all countries national flag whenever you are going to the country you are supposed to host this flag on the starboard side always country flag always hoist on the starboard side here we have all publication this is also a under requirement uh, if you need to refer anything you can use this publication still i am arranging this publication so it's not messed up squared up here we have uh, routine files for this update and maintenance of bridge equipment and other things foam extinguisher 9 liter this is another important equipment sextant i'll show you sextant earlier it is very frequently used to take the sights and calculate the ship's position nowadays hardly people are using this one but in our company it is required to be take sight at least once in a 3 month here you can see that this is a sextant earlier it is very frequently used to calculate the ship's position with the celestial object like stars sun moon and other objects nowadays hardly people are using this one because you have a dgps and continuously you are getting a positions with the various sources so this is not required okay here we have a weather fact this is a weather forecast uh, weather facsimile system this is also an old version and uh, nowadays hardly people are using this one because nowadays we have a weather software on the computer so we are getting more accurate data from there <laughs> hello guys this is our captain captain, captain prashant he is very jolly captain he is uh, very helpful and uh, is outstanding captain yeah. okay guys we have missed this uh, Yeah. emergency equipments over here here we have uh, two sets of immersion suit life jacket and uh, pyrotechnics also the child life jacket i'll show you here here we have two sets of uh, rocket parachute line throwing apparatus lta this we used in case uh, you need to pass something to the ship or you need assistance from the other ship the rope inside there is around 250 meter long so we'll uh, trigger this one and this rope will go to the other ship and we will get the help from the other ship here we have uh, rocket parachutes 12 set for attracting attention of the ship in case we need any assistance so we can use this one also we have immersion suit life jacket in case of emergency this is for the duty officers at a time of emergency they can use it they can use this also in the pilotage pilot can use this one here we have alcohol tester we very three, important equipment three sets of alcohol tester on board so every month it is a routine unannounced uh, alcohol test this is requested by the company so that uh, because in our company there is zero alcohol policy so nobody is drunk during the duty hours or any other hours sometimes i used to sit here and have a 
you can smoke over here bridge open sea is allowed to smoke smoking is allowed drinking is not allowed so sometimes you can check it out Uh, guys, uh, we have missed this equipment. This is also an important equipment in case of uh, visibility is not clear. This is called a clear view screen. You can switch from here. The heater is on. It's, now it is running. So the visibility is not clear. Then you can use this uh, screen to view the forward. I guess you are able to see it is running. Okay. I hope you like the video, uh, and uh, the credit goes to our second officer, Rahul. And uh, if you have any doubt regarding any of the equipment, uh, you can write in the comment. Uh, we'll try to cover it, or we can make a separate video regarding that equipment. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.